But then again, knowing how to use the EQ in which kind of scenario and how to EQ one track to another track so that the entire song sounds good, that's like a whole nother skill level. I don't know if you remember, but like three months ago, I bought this drum set, trained a little every day, just, just for fun. I, I thought, why not? Helps me as a music producer, being able to play the drums. If I need drums, I just record them. It's definitely a plus. And I recorded every month a little clip. Let me play you like one clip, how I played the drums at the very beginning. It's hilarious, like I was just focused on doing like one thing or two things at time and in rhythm and it just froze up my entire brain. Now just like, what is it, yeah, three months later, it works. I can now play eight notes, uh, quarter notes of course, 16 notes with my hands. I still can't play 16 notes with the kick drum. So, so that's where I'm at right now and it teaches me one thing, one, one big thing, the most important when you're making music or anything in life. And you see, you have to understand there is a huge difference, like a huge, huge, huge difference between understanding how something works and actually pulling it off. For example, playing the keys, the piano, like you could tell someone within a second how actually to play this instrument. Like every note has a key, you press it, you hear it, the more you press it, the louder you hear it. That's like you understand it instantly. But then actually playing it takes a ton, a ton, a ton of practicing. And for instruments, people usually understand it. Same like playing football, playing basketball, like understanding how it works is one thing. Executing it a whole nother level. And music production is the same, but I don't know why, for, for some strange reason, People are just not putting a lot of time into it. For example, in EQ, very easy to understand. You can remove frequencies, add frequencies, and this way shape and form a sound. You can teach anyone on this planet within five minutes what an EQ does. But then again, knowing how to use the EQ in which kind of scenario and how to EQ one track to another track so that the entire song sounds good that's like a whole nother skill level. And people think because they know how compression works, how EQing works, how mixing works in theory, they know how to mix and EQ and compress, but at the end they're lacking the experience. So you have to put your hours into training a lot. Like I know so many people that watch a lot of tutorials and they learn a lot about how it works, that actually don't learn how to use it in real life. You have just to put time into it. Just learning about it, it's not enough. Spend your hours mixing, mastering, producing music, hours and hours and hours. Same as with the piano or the drums, it just takes a long time. I would even say for producing even longer than, than playing an instrument because you're basically playing every instrument and they're like, like thousands and thousands of variables and combinations like it's it's like there, it goes up to infinity so don't forget that i hear a lot of beginners complaining about i know how it works but i can't make it sound good that that's usually the reason you're lacking the experience and there is no shortcut there is no shortcut for playing the piano faster it's just the hours you put into it 100 percent. anyways next up music production <laughs> done here in the studio I have to admit not the most productive day there is a reason for it you see we're trying to get this house this perfect house we could own that has a studio and living like all together a huge garden it's beautiful and it makes me nervous like I, I have to call my um, attorney my tax people my financing assistant and like documents between all of them and then calling the bank and we don't know if it will actually work because one thing I have to tell you, getting a loan for a house as a self-employed person in Germany, 
forget about it. Like it's, it's so impossible. It's so hard. They want to have so many documents. And if, if you're not self-employed for three plus years, there's no chance, no chance. Within your first three years, you don't get anything. Luckily, I'm doing this uh, music thing already for quite a while. But still, you have to have like an income. And as a self-employed person, you always try to make yourself look small so you don't have to pay that much taxes. That's an added kind of crippling kind of factor. I hope it will rescue us that we're already paying the same amount of loan payback right now already. Like the combined rent of the studio and home is equal, almost equal. So I hope they will see that and, and think like, hey, they're already doing this for years. So they will probably be able to do it for a couple more years. I really don't know, but I'm, I'm too nervous to really focus on music. I don't know, this, this step is a big one, it's an important one, I don't wanna screw it up, so I want to give 100%. And in, I think, let me check, yeah, in 45 minutes, the, the financial um, woman is coming to our home to discuss all of this and, and strategize. Super excited. But, but uh, nervous, more nervous than excited. Yeah, actually really nervous. Anyways, back home, getting done that meeting and then let's see where we're at. Yeah, a little like exhausted. This was like a one and a half, almost two hours talk about all of our finances. Should probably move this out of the way of the camera. Very sensitive stuff. But yeah, it doesn't look that good, to be honest. She said, like practically talking, she said it's no problem. We have the money to pay the monthly interest. But I'm on paper, I'm, I'm, I'm looking smaller and I am, that's just what you do when you're self-employed. The smaller you look, the smaller the amount of taxes you have to pay. And that hurts right now, because um, with these kind of amounts, it, it's hard to get approved by the bank, she said. She said it's possible, but to make it more likely, we need more upfront capital to invest into that house. So again, if anyone is interested, mixing, mastering, any kind of gear, equipment, like I'm, I'm selling everything. Down below in the description is an email, just hit me up and I'll try to make whatever you want possible. We need that cash. Like this is our dream house. Our parents are on board and hyped. It's just like a matter of convincing the bank. And the only thing that convinces them is cash, unfortunately. It's so sad, like if, if I would have the same numbers as an employed person, as Vanessa is, we would get the house, no problem. But since I'm self-employed, I have like to have triple good numbers. <sighs> yeah, but that's just the way it is. Anyways, fingers crossed. Again, if you need anything, hit me up tomorrow back in the studio. Selling more gear, <laughs> making more cash. Ah. Uh.